Welcome to this introduction video on using the Sky of Project Creator. In this video, I'm going to run you through creating, configuring and deploying your first Sky of Java project. The Project Creator will create a configured Java project set up for Maven dependency management for common development environments like Eclipse and IntelliJ. Before you begin, you'll need the Java JDK, at least Java 11, a developer environment and an application server. We're recommending Eclipse and Wildfly. To get started, go to the project creation page. Enter your email address so that you can be notified when the project is created and ready to download, and give your project a name. Skype supports multi-tenanted applications, and all data is secured against the customer or client name. For now, just enter your organisation name. Next, choose the type of database you want for structured data. If you're not sure, the H2 file based option is an easy way to get started and you can change it to something else later. Finally, if you've got a Skive script, you can add it here. If you don't, just leave this blank. That's it, you're now ready to create the project and in about one minute you'll receive an email with the download link. Once you receive the email, use the link to download your project and unzip it to your Java workspace. If you haven't already, download the JBoss Tools plugin for the IDE. And add a server. Browse to the Wildfly folder. And ensure you select the correct Java execution environment. From your development environment, Import the project as a Maven project. Now choose Run as Maven install to complete setting up your project, resolve any dependencies and download any add-ins. Skive includes content management features so that your application can include images and other uploads, manage automatic backups and caching. To do this, Skive needs access to a folder on your file system and this needs to contain the Skive content add-in. From your project, expand out the target folder and copy the Skive content zip file. In your workspace, create a content folder and within that folder, create an add-ins folder and copy the Skive content zip to that location. Create a separate folder for content for your application. You can place these folders anywhere, but it's best to place them outside of your project so that Eclipse won't waste time continually scanning them for changes. The project also contains two configuration files a data source XML and a project properties JSON file. Copy these into the Wildfly deployment folder. Update the project JSON properties file, nominating the locations of the content folder and add ins location you created earlier. Make sure you remove curly braces when replacing default values. Use slashes rather than backslashes even for Windows environments and terminate the path with a slash. Next, update the instance identifier value for this environment. Leave this identifier null for production instances, but for development and test environments, provide a name. Your project properties file also includes credentials for a bootstrap user. This is a user that will be automatically injected into your database so you can sign in for the first time and complete your project setup. However, the Bootstrap user is only injected for a non-production instance, 
so ensure you set your environment instance identifier before you start. Now update the data source XML file. For H2, update the connection URL with a file name for a new H2 database file. For simplicity, we suggest placing this within your content folder. Once again, ensure you remove curly braces from the default values. Also, for a new H2 database, set a username and password. If you're using SQL Server, you'll need to configure Wildfly by placing the JDBC JAR and Windows Authentication DLL in place. And if you've chosen to use MySQL or SQL Server, you'll need to go and create an empty database, and then update your connection string in the data source XML file. Don't worry about creating tables, Sky will do that for you when you first deploy. Now add the project to your Wildfly server and start it up. Skive will automatically create all the tables your database needs. Once your project is running, go to your local context and sign in. If you are unable to sign in, check that you have identified your local content location, set an instance identifier, and set bootstrap user credentials in your project properties file. When you sign in for the first time, you will be presented with a startup configuration page where you can finalise settings for emails, maps and security. You can also update these settings at a later time. When you are ready, tick the box so that this does not show again and save the changes. Congratulations, you've built, configured and deployed your first Skive application. Check out more video tutorials, don't forget to read the developer guide and join the community for help and tips.